If you want to get better performance with your Facebook ads, you need to play by the rules of Andromeda. And one of those rules is increasing the variety and the volume of the content of the creatives that you feed Meta and Facebook's algorithm to deliver better performance for you. Now, the challenge with this is it takes time to create all this content, but it also takes a lot of money to create all this content. You're paying content creators hundreds of dollars per video, and it just doesn't really make sense. So what can you do from a standpoint of producing more videos without spending a ton of money on content creators. One of the most effective things you can do is create videos with AI. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I create AI avatars like this one, like this one. And these are the exact kind of avatars that eight figure brands are using in their ads. So let's get right into it. First of all, some proof that I'm qualified to speak on the topic of creating ads for e-commerce brands. I've been running my own agency since 2020. We help e-commerce brands scale to eight figures and even nine figures. And we've worked with a lot of reputable e-com brands over the years. And we have a lot of good testimonials on here. You can come to our website, hazemedia.co, look at some of our case studies, watch some videos of what clients have to say about us. We have a real team. And if you are running an e-commerce brand and you're just looking for someone to do this for you, you're looking for someone to manage your Facebook ads or even you know your email marketing as well, then those are things that we do. And we could be a perfect fit for you. So if you're doing over 100K per month, then down below in the first link of the video description is one to my calendar. Go ahead, book a time, and I hope to speak with you soon. So without the way, let's get straight into it. So as I mentioned, I'm going to show you how I create avatars like this one. And I'm just going to play this video to show you an example of what this one looks like. If you run an auto repair shop and you're tired of losing customers to your competitors because calls keep getting missed, I was in the exact same position. Between working on cars, talking to customers in the shop, and everything else going on, Calls would go unanswered, especially after hours. And every missed call was basically lost revenue. So, so there's just one example of someone in a car. Sounds very natural. The voice doesn't sound like AI at all. And the lip sync is very good. Also, the hand actions are very good as well. So I created this one literally from an image. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I'll give you another example here. Pest control business owners, what if you could increase your revenue just by changing one single metric in your sales process? Let's say you're currently getting 300 inbound calls per month. Out of those 300 calls, 70... Okay, so that's just another example. Now, I'll show you examples of eight-figure brands who are actually running these. This is um, Organics Ocean, and they're, yeah, eight-figure supplement brand. You need to stop buying vitamin D from the store. This is the biggest... Okay, so that AI avatar, another AI avatar here. Here's five things things that you don't know about creatine and brands don't want you to know about it. One, the best creatine mixes. In so they're creating ads, they're using an AI avatar, but they're also using their existing B-roll. And this is basically the idea is that you have all this existing B-roll content. And by the way, if you don't have B-roll content, you can create it with AI as well. And essentially what they're doing is they're combining both of those together. So they don't even need videos from new creators. You're paying a content creator 200 bucks nowadays for a video. And like, who knows if that video is going to perform, right? So why don't you just create hundreds with AI avatars and test them all to see what works, okay? Here's another example. Here's five things that you don't know about creatine and brands don't want you to know about it. One, the best... So the other thing as well is like sometimes the lip sync isn't perfect with these AI avatars. So it's good to, you know, swap in some, uh, some B-roll and then that way you take, can take the focus off that person so someone is not like, something is a bit off here, right? And um, here's another example. Did you know taking D3 without K2 can send calcium to your arteries instead of your bones? Okay, so... I think you get the idea. Now let's get into how to actually create these. So on HeyGen, uh, which is this tool to actually create these AI avatars, uh, you can just sign up for an account. Uh, I think it's like 29 bucks a month. And maybe you need like an add-on of something to be able to create these avatars. It's not that expensive. What gets expensive is if you're just pumping out a ton of videos. And even still, like it will come out to 100, maybe 200 bucks a month to create. I don't want to put a, a specific number on it, but if you're creating like one minute videos, you can probably, probably push out about 30, 40 videos within that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of mileage you can get out of that plan is what I'm saying. So come to HeyGen, HeyGen.com, and they, they have a lot of existing avatars. Like you can create an avatar with one of their public avatars. I would have all these existing ones, but I found that it's better if I create my own. I find that the lip sync, lip sync actually turns out to be better. So actually create a new one here. You can see all these ones that I've created. Create a new one, start from a photo, and I can actually upload a photo. Now the way I get a photo is I go to Higgsfield, uh, which is this platform, Higgsfield.ai, where you can create um, images. And what I can do here is I can create an image of my avatar. So let's just say I'm selling, let's just say I'm this supplement brand, right? And I'm selling to women in their 40s, okay? So the prompt that I put into Higgsfield here, and I went to Soul, uh, so if you just come up to Image, Create Image, you can click Soul, No Character, and then you can also select 
what kind of style you want. Uh, so I chose realistic. You can also play around with iPhone in general um, and different ones to see how it comes out. I said generate an image of a white Caucasian woman in her 40s with blonde hair, slightly graying, looking directly at the camera with a soft expression. Background is in a naturally lit kitchen inside a modern home. Now, if you wanted a better prompt, then what you could do, this is what I've done as well, you can go to ChatGPT and I can just say, I'm creating a prompt for Higgsfield to produce an image of a woman in her 40s, blonde hair, slightly graying, in a modern kitchen with natural lighting looking directly at the camera. So I just dictate this in and ChatGPT is just going to create the prompt for me that I'm actually going to feed into Higgsfield. So we'll let it do its thing and I will just copy this. I'll go back to Higgsfield and I'll remove this and I'll generate. And these four images you see here were generated with that previous prompt. Now, these images, I would say, are very, very good. It looks like they've been shot on a camera. It's kind of blurry, uh, which is like perfect, right? We don't want it to look too polished. One of the examples I showed you that I created is a little bit polished. It's more studio feel. But I would actually go for a little bit more like raw, authentic shots like these. And it takes a, a, few, a few minutes for it to actually process. So here we go. It's already ready. Uh, so this woman, for some reason, she's topless, which wasn't the idea. Sometimes you just have to try it again. So if we go here and then we'll wait for these to come back. Okay, so we literally just ran the same prompt again and we got some images back with the woman wearing a top and uh, this one here, for example. Uh, but for example, if you wanted to be more specific about what the woman is wearing, I could just say, take the same prompt and add in more details about what the woman is wearing. A casual jumper. Jumper here and maybe it's uh, better for use. Sweater. Jumpers UK. Okay, awesome. So it's going to come back with slightly oversized knit sweater. Perfect. All right. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm showing you that it's never perfect, right? It doesn't come back first try and, you know, off to the races. You have to prompt it a little bit and you have to like tweak the prompt a little bit depending on what you want, right? Now, if you wanted her to be less gray and a little bit more blonde, then, you know, go for it, right? You, you can obviously make changes. I still think these ones are better than these ones. These ones look a little bit too polished. And these ones are created with a much simpler prompt. So again, you want to play around with this. You want to try super simple prompt. You want to try like a chat GPT engineered prompt and see what you get. Um, one thing is well, you got to be careful about how close they are to the camera because the lip sync, while it's good, is not perfect. So if it's too close, then you might be able to notice like how it's a little bit off as well. Um, so I think these are perfect, right? We can choose any of these. I'm going to go for, let's choose this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this image, okay? So once we downloaded the image, we'll go back to HeyGen and we will upload the photo that we just downloaded. So I can just pull it in from here and we can add multiple photos, but it's it doesn't really make a difference. So I'm just going to click upload and then it's going to go ahead and actually create my avatar for me. Now this also takes a few minutes, so we'll let this do its thing. Um, I'll click new avatar. I'll give her a name. Let's name her Stacy. Um, it's, uh, we say late middle age and continue. Now we get to choose a voice. So I'm going to be targeting a US audience and I'm going to create, or I'm going to choose a voice that is already existing in the HeyGen library. So you want something that doesn't sound too AI and you want it to sound very natural, but you also want it to match how that person would sound, right, in your in your own mind. So let's just listen to a few. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. The right voice brings avatar videos to life. So I've used this one before. I actually used it on the example I showed you. Uh, this one right here. And it's pretty good. However, let's listen to a few more. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. So this one is like not it, right? And actually you can uh, apply filters. So I'll do female and I will actually do middle-aged. And that way we get slightly more accurate. Okay, so... After searching through a lot of ones, I finally found one that I think would be a good fit. And you have to listen to a lot, right? You have to find the one that's, that fits right. Otherwise, it just feels off. So I've gone with this one, Instructive Isabel. Hey there, here's how I sound. Hope you like it. The right voice brings avatar videos to life. Okay, so we'll choose this and hit next. So it's created this preview of the avatar. But what we have to do is you have to click Create with AI Studio. Then we're actually going to go to the point where we give it a script, and we actually generate a video with this avatar. So I'm just going to give this a title. We'll do Stacy test. And this video, as I mentioned, we'll do it for this supplement brand. So let's just say they're selling a magnesium, and I'll just create a script off the cuff for this person. So I'll say, if you're tired of lying in bed awake at night, not being able to sleep no matter what, then this is something that you should consider. I was in the exact same position. As I've got older, it's been harder and harder to fall asleep at night leaving me staring at the ceiling, wondering what is going on with my body. I started exercising more to feel more tired. 
I started reducing my caffeine intake. I even tried magnesium. It didn't work. But then I was speaking to a friend of mine who was actually going through the same problem that I was. And she said that most magnesium is coming straight from China and is actually really ineffective. And she uses this brand that's made in the US, which is actually used from this specific grade of magnesium that is better absorbed by the body and activates only 30 minutes after you take it. So in desperate need of solutions, I said, okay, can you just give me some so I can try it? And she gave me a few pills to try it. I tried it for a week and I finally started to fall asleep a little bit faster. Now, it wasn't like I was in my 20s and I hit the pillow and I was asleep, but it gradually got better and I was falling asleep within 20 minutes, 30 minutes of going to bed. So if you're facing this problem, just give it a shot and let me know what you think. Okay, so just dictated a script off the cuff here. And when it comes to HeyGen and you do these scripts, you have to kind of remove a little bit of the punctuation because it just reads it as it is. Uh, so let's, we can actually just play this and we'll listen to how it sounds. If you're tired of lying in bed, awake at night, not being able to sleep no matter what, then this is something that you should consider. I was in the exact same position. As I've got older, it's been harder and harder. So the first thing here is that it's a little bit robotic. The voice isn't what I thought it was, which happens. And again, I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. This is the real, I'm showing you the real stuff. I'm not showing you the perfect one take of how to create these because this is what you're actually going to have to go through. You're going to have to do trial and error until you find the perfect combination. So I'm just going to spend a bit more time here going through the filters and going through the voices so that I can find something that's perfect. Okay, so I found a new voice and I applied a 1.1x speed just to make it flow a little bit better. On top of that, I removed some of the commas just so that it flows a little bit smoother. And let's actually see how this sounds. If you're tired of lying in bed awake at night and not being able to sleep no matter what, then this is something that you should consider. I was in the exact same position. As I've got older, it's been harder and harder to fall asleep at night, leaving me staring at the ceiling wondering what is going on with my body. I started exercising more to feel more tired. I started reducing my caffeine intake. I even tried magnesium. It didn't work. Okay, so... I think it can be a little bit better. And for time's sake, I'm going to run with this. And I'm also going to apply a few different settings, right? So here we have the motion engine, which is Avatar IV. I like to use Avatar IV. It's more realistic in terms of the movements that you get out of the Avatar. You can click Advanced Settings, and you can actually generate motion prompts, uh, which cost two times as much. But Honestly, I found it leads to better results. You can test it for yourself, of course. Um, but this is basically describing how you want this person to move their hands, uh, the facial expressions. Uh, so let's do a warm and welcoming. And it's actually going to fill a prompt for us. And then I'm going to click generate. So here it calculates the avatar IV usage. And it will tell you basically how much time you have left, right? It does it based on the amount of time of the video. Uh, this video, I think, was like a minute something long. I'm actually... It's going to go over 117 seconds of my usage. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to shorten this down just to generate something a little bit shorter. I'll submit, then I'll click submit, and then it will do its thing. Now it takes some time to actually create the video. Uh, so we'll leave it do its thing, and then we'll come back. Okay, so our video is ready. Uh, let's have a look and see how it came out. If you're tired of lying in bed awake at night, not being able to sleep no matter what, then this is something that you should consider. I was in the exact same position. As I've got older... It's been harder and harder to fall asleep at night. Okay, so pretty good, right? Like it's it's pretty realistic. Of course, what you do is you edit this, right? You edit in captions or you can edit out the pauses, right? Those slow kind of awkward pauses, you want to edit those out. And you also want to add in some background music. And once you do that, and once you add in some B-roll as well, it's very, very difficult to see whether this is AI or not, okay? Now, if you want to go a step further is with the avatar that you created, right? Let's just choose Stacy that we have right here. We can actually create a new look right? And this is almost like a nano banana where we can just say, take this person. So I'll use nano banana. I said, put this woman in a car driving seat, looking at the camera, the camera is positioned slightly off center. Now, I just want to see what it comes back with, right? This would basically just say, we take the same person, and then let's just put her in a car. So then maybe we can create some ads with her speaking in a car. Okay, so this is what it came back with. It's like, I mean, it's decent, we could create something with this, I was thinking a bit position more on the dash. Again, we could reprompt this. And I've been able to actually reprompt it enough to position it on the dash in other avatars but this could also be something right like someone in the passenger seat is going like hey uh, tell us about your experience with this magnesium product and she's just sitting in the driver's seat saying you know just talking about her experience right it's very natural uh, so yeah this is pretty much how to do it 
Hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions on like, how to actually create these videos, then let me know down below. And if you're running an e-commerce brand, you're doing over 100K per month and you want the to help you scale, you're just tired of the headache of getting all these creatives and running Facebook ads and creating funnels and even doing your email marketing, SMS marketing, then this is exactly what we do. We have a killer team. And we can definitely help you scale if there's a right fit. So the first link down below in the video description, if you scroll down, is one to my calendar. Go ahead, book time, and I hope to speak with you soon.